Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the part three video from today's energy healing. And today's date is the 20th of February, 2018. And it is a good standalone video too. Um, although I do prefer, I like it as a combo video also uh, with the one that came right before it, the part two uh, from today, February 20th, uh, 2018. That video will probably definitely have heart strength in it, repair and rebuild heart strength in it, um, just like this one. Uh, but we have some great techniques that this will be basically the second half of today's healing, what I described in this video. What we did in the, the immediately previous video is we did a lot of chakra healing and, sh and aura repair. And then we did even extra healing on the heart chakra, fourth chakra for commitment and motivation and self-love, self-esteem. Uh, so this picks up from there, All right? Let's do this. But you, you could do this one and then go back and do that one. It's not like you're gonna mess yourself up by doing them out of order, <laughs> I promise. Um, okay, great. So uh, what we're doing first in this video is giant collapsing gold nets which is a technique that is really uh, easy and nice to do. I think it's good to do when you're already a little centered. So uh, what we'll do in case you're not centered right now is we'll just very quickly ground and do like a one color earth energy soak. So go ahead and imagine your big aura all the way around you, maybe about two feet all the way around and uh, create a grounding that's as wide as your whole aura, even behind you in front of you to side both sides and make it red or orange or yellow <sighs> and so it's wide and it's that color that you chose and it goes as high as your third chakra is what i would recommend because that helps with productivity and getting things done and sleeping well and it stays wide and it goes all the way down to the core of the earth and it's flowing down the whole way helping you let go And in the, the Sunday healing, uh, we did a lot about letting go. And it is very key for positive change to keep letting go of things. You got to keep reminding yourself, okay, I do want positive change, right? So I have to let go. There's stuff that, you know, part of me just wants to be in denial about and keep repressing for another five lifetimes. But no, you know, I need to let go of it because I really want that positive change. <laughs> All right. So I have a big orange grounding and you can go ahead and bring up the earth energy bring it all the way up 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 uh, at that color so for me I'm gonna use my grounding like a straw and just bring up an extra amount of orange earth energy and up 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 and just soak in it soak your whole aura your body your chakras everything you know and even your energy field above your head you know the top of your aura just soak it in the orange earth energy or red or yellow Right, so that's an earth energy soak and that's really nice. And that's something that you can do to center yourself real fast whenever you want. You can just leave it up like that if you want, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, so uh, now we can do giant collapsing gold nets now that we're, uh, we know we're centered reasonably, you know, and reasonably present. Um, so giant collapsing gold nets, it's its own video. So I'm gonna be very quick with it. And if you want more, just watch that video, Giant Collapsing Gold Nets, which is in the Quick Techniques playlist. Um, okay, so the idea with Giant Collapsing Gold Nets is you make all these fishing nets that are, it's like you're in a big rectangle of fishing nets, uh, that, and it's giant, meaning they're like 30 or 40 feet away from you. So let's say you're here and the, the one side is here, one side is here, one side is all the way up here, one side is all the way down right before the center of the earth. So you're, you're, in, you're just surrounded. So make a mini you out in front of you. That's sort of the easy way to do it. Imagine like a miniature version of you and then, you know, do the giant collapse, giant nets, giant gold fishing nets made of universal healing energy, you know, in front behind you to your sides above you and then all the way down right at the center of the earth. And so that it's like a closed little system of nets, fishing nets. And your intention is that these giant collapsing gold nets are gonna get out of you just like a fishing net catches fish, right? But this is gonna catch whatever's not you that you're ready to let go of. 
Um, so spirits that shouldn't be there, people's energy that shouldn't be there, even some energy blocks that you're ready to let go of, all of it can just be caught up in the nets, okay? So with your intention though, really remind yourself, I can let go, I deserve to feel calm, I deserve to get rid of my headache, you know, I deserve to be healthy, you know, and just let these gold fishing nets catch up a whole lot, okay? And just leave whatever's caught up in the net there, just have it be like one big lump in the net. Now, there are two ways to do it from here. I like to just lift it out of me and give it to the angels, you know, just in a big lump with the fishing net and say, angels, can you please recycle this? A few people, small number of people in the healing uh, that I did once, they preferred to just leave the net in place and then ask the angels, their angels, to remove it for them. So you could do that. If it feels too weird for you to have the collapsed skull net and then lift it out of you, um, just say, angels, can you get all this? You know, can you recycle all this for me? And then your angels will do that. I mean, if you're as, if you've been doing it as long as I have, then your angels will be like, Janet, we think you can take it out yourself and then give it to us. <laughs> but if you're a newbie, I think you get a lot of leeway with the angels. Okay, cool. So we did that about two or three times in the healing. Uh, so you can do a couple more gold nets real quick, you know, real fast. Okay. Um, then uh, I looked at people's spiritual path to see if they were owning their spiritual path. And I discussed this a lot in the intro video for today. So uh, I'll link that at the end as well. So if you want to listen more about that concept of that you have a spiritual path that's just for you and you want to be moving forward on it, um, you know, you can listen to the intro video, but that's the idea. You want to be on your spiritual path and you want to be moving forward on it, you know, making progress. You don't want to be like roadblocked, you know, and kind of detached and shut down, right? You want, you want to own your path. Like you want to kind of blow off you know, you want to melt energy blocks that are road blocking you. Um, you know, it is interesting because there's, there's sort of two um, strategies. You can use your strength and just kind of blow it out of your way, um, which I, I also talked about in the intro video. Um, but you can also just not resist, you know, and, and melt the barriers that way. Um, I will, uh, actually, I hope she's okay with it, but one of the participants, um, she shared with me that she had this wonderful message dream from her angels uh, during, I think it was during this triplet set, maybe, or maybe the last one. Uh, I'm not sure which one it was, but it was very recent. And she, her angels gave her this message dream and she didn't know, oh, it was last set. She didn't know what it meant but then she realized like, because the theme of the healing that happened that day you know, after her dream was non-resistance. Um, so in the dream, she, there were these dragons in front of her and they were, you know, not like good dragons, you know, they were like coming at her, these dragons. And she was, she had this thought in the dream that she wasn't supposed to resist the dragons. Don't resist the dragons. And, um, that if she didn't resist them, that they would go away. And so that's what she did in the dream. She didn't resist the dragons and then poof, they disappeared. You know, and that's, that's perfect. You know, that's like so much how energy works. Like if you have an energy wall on your path, if you can't just blow it off with your strength, then, then, you know, you should not resist. You should just melt it away, you know, because an outer wall in front of you on your path is sort of the mirror image of some inner blockage that you have. And so don't fight it and resist it, you'll just keep it in place, right? You wanna melt it away by centering yourself more and more and more, and then the, your inner wall dissolves as does the wall in front of you. So don't resist the dragons, folks. How cool is that? Okay. So anyway, so I kept looking at participants and their path and particularly like the sort of the most shut down people. I knew who was the most shut down because of their surveys. And so I wanted to, you know, they were sort of, I knew if they were, their path was improving, then everybody's path was like really awesome, you know? So um, I looked after the giant collapsing gold nets um, and all that shock repair work that we did in the immediately previous video. 
um, to see if they were owning their path and kind of clearing off the roadblocks. And they weren't quite, it wasn't enough yet. Uh, they didn't have enough heart strength yet to do that, to kind of illuminate their path and clear it off uh, for, so they could just walk forward smoothly. So what we did next is we brought in more heart energy. Uh, some of these people, they were, probably not all of them, but some of them, they were born, uh, their mothers were pretty negative and defeatist and kind of uh, overwhelmed. You know, I mean, being a mom is extremely challenging. So, you know, it may be that a lot of you have uh, grew up with mothers who, you know, the heart chakra was pretty imploded, you know, pretty like shut down. Um, heart chakra, again, is motivation, enthusiasm, self-love. Um, so, you know, not to demonize these mothers at all. But if your parents are kind of shut down on a heart chakra level, chances are you may have been limited in how much heart chakra energy you brought into this lifetime. Doesn't mean that you as a spirit don't have more of it. It just means that, you know, on a spirit level, possibly out of deference to your parents, you just didn't, it's like you didn't want to upstage them with a whole bunch of joy, you know? <laughs> so anyway, now's the time. Now you can do it. You're an adult, you have free will you know, you can choose joy, choose self-love, self-esteem, go for it, you know? So what I did is I imagine, what you can do is imagine the parts of you that are this, you know, this heart strength, this self-love, this power, heart power, that you didn't bring in yet into this life, but you really want to, like it's not yet in your physical body, um, and it's above you, like green clouds, you know? So any shade of green that you like, but it's like you and it's up here, but it's like a cloud, but it's just you. It's for real, just your energy and it's green. And so there are energy blocks in this cloud of your green heart strength energy. And you just, and they can look like books, you know, hard books. So there might be this beautiful big green cloud of your energy, your heart energy. And then there's all these energy blocks because just because you were just conflicted about bringing it in. So you just imagine the green cloud of your heart energy that's above you that hasn't been able to come in. And you just melt away the energy blocks. Use lots and lots of gold light. Ah, that's nice. It just kind of calms in, you know, once the energy blocks clear. You can always bring in more and more and more because obviously I've done that process before and I just brought in even more. So, you know, keep doing it. Why not? You know, there's, there's, you, know, you can have more joy, more fulfillment, more motivation. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do another one, right? So find a big bunch of your um, heart energy, self-esteem, motivation, you know, um, heart strength you know, uh, determination uh, up here that you haven't been able to bring in to your physical heart chakra yet. And uh, just, you know, be aware of the hard energy blocks in that big green cloud of your energy and just melt away the energy blocks with lots of gold light. And the more you melt away the energy blocks, the more that green energy, which is you, comes just in automatically into your energy field and it's you. So it just, Feels kind of like you're waking up a little or something. There we go. Yay. <sighs> la -li la, la -li la. <laughs> okay, great. So that, mm, you know, green clouds, finding green clouds of your own heart strength energy and bringing them in. Um, you know, I don't have a snappy technique name for that. <laughs> I'll have to get on that. Um, okay. So then what I did again is I checked people and was their spiritual path like illuminated with their heart strength yet? Were they, you know, blowing away the roadblocks or melting them away? You know, were they unencumbered now and, and, you know, unblocked, you know, to move forward on their path and it was better, but still not great. So the next thing that I saw people needed help with is clearing guilt. Guilt, guilt, guilt. So guilt is um, mostly heart chakra stuff. It's just a blockage in your heart chakra. And unfortunately, you know that expression, misery loves company? It's like guilt loves company, you know? So people that feel guilty about a lot of things, um, you know, they may make you feel guilty too. Um, so whatever, I mean, it is what it is. So 
as a, as a you know, person with free will, now you can clear it. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, some people think if you feel guilt, that makes you a good person, but that's not true. Um, having personal ethics and values makes you a good person. You know, I mean, if you follow, if you live by your beliefs, then you in your mind are a good person. It doesn't, you know, you don't need to let guilt, um, perform some sort of a, of a consciousness function. Uh, that's really very pain based way to live very painful. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I mean, you could do it, but you know, good luck with that. <laughs> so anyway, um, so what we did to clear guilt at first, we did the blanket technique once, which there is a blanket video if you want to play with that. But what I moved to and we did more of is we used the stacking and clearing energy blocks technique to clear guilt. The reason I prefer that one over blanket exercise, even with people, you know, in general, is just that I feel like the, the second clearing one, you get more of like the real stuck stuff and you clear it. Whereas a blanket technique, you just kind of put stuff on, you're totally ready to clear. But the stuff you're half ready to clear, but you better clear now to be better, you know, that stacking and clearing is good for that. So, okay, so enough blah, blah, blah explanation. So stacking and clearing is you just stack energy blocks out in front of you that represent, and we're doing it for guilt. So just stack, you know, maybe six energy blocks that are healthy and gentle for you to clear right now that um, keep you stuck in guilt. You know, and again, guilt is weighing down your heart chakra and we want heart strength so that we can blow away the barricades on our path and move forward in an empowered, consistent manner. <sighs> So um, anyway, so with stacking and clearing, you don't care that the inner one energy block, like one of these energy blocks I'm about to clear used to be like right up here. One used to be like right back here. One used to be right in front of my tummy. It doesn't matter. You know, your spirit is a lot smarter than you think. And you can just with your intention, just line them up all out in front of you, even if originally they were in different places. Okay. So just all six, line up six energy blocks that are really good for you to clear right now, healthy and gentle for you to clear right now, that represent guilt, okay? That's weakening your heart strength. And just bring up red earth energy to soak those energy blocks. For me, I like imagining the energy blocks like bricks. You can imagine them like rocks or little boxes, whatever. Um, but just soak them in the red earth energy that you bring up from the center of the earth. And that just kind of calms them down a little and makes sure that you're more separate from them. And then use gold light from your hands and your fingertips and just wash out these energy blocks that look like bricks and melt away any energy cores that are going into these bricks from you or, or other people. And just keep melting with the gold light and clear all the energy blocks. There we go. All mine cleared. If you maybe have one left, maybe you missed some energy cords that were going into it. So just melt away the energy cords a little more and then melt the energy block. If you still have some that are there, just ask your angels. Angels, can you help me clear that? Just with your mind. Angels, can you help me clear that? Okay, so let's do more of that. So again, guilt, clear guilt. That it could be from a past life even. You know, it doesn't have to be something you consciously feel guilty about. Don't worry. You know, just with your subconscious parts of your spirit, you you just pick it out. You know, energy blocks that that make you feel guilty, subconsciously even. You know, they're weakening your heart strength. You know, whatever's weakening your heart strength, okay? You know, six energy blocks out in front of you, but you know, it can be guilt, because that's a, a big culprit. And uh, six that are healthy and gentle for you to clear right now. And just bring up the red earth energy and soak them. And gold light and melt away energy cords with the gold light or gold fire. I kind of like gold fire sometimes. Because for me, I, I can imagine the gold fire just snapping away the energy cords. And then just more gold light. And just the more you kind of just take a deep breath and relax, the more the energy blocks just melt faster. All right. So you can do that as much as you want. You can pause the video and just keep clearing more guilt that is weakening your heart strength. As long as you think, okay, what's healthy and gentle for me to clear? You know, it could be that, you know, like 10 more sets of those would be fine. 
Um, okay, great. So that was clearing guilt. So after that, I looked again at people and you can imagine, you know, like a road out in front of you and you're on the path and see, you know, like, is your path illuminated with your heart strength? Is it, you know, clear for you to move forward? And, you know, uh, and if it's not, you can even just, you know, use gold light and wash forward, you know? So like, say if you're, if you're here on the path, you know, wash ahead of you you know, and just melt away the barriers, you know, and just think, Hey, this is my spiritual path. I don't want to be roadblocked on my path. You know, I'm tired of that. You know, I'm tired of feeling good one hour and then feeling stuck the next, you know, forget that, you know, just clear a whole bunch of barriers that are in front of you, you know, melt away the dragons. <laughs> and if you feel like there is something that's just kind of intimidating, you know, like maybe you know, I mean, obviously you could just melt, not resist the dragons and they'll melt, you know, in that one metaphor. But, you know, if there is something that you need help with, just say, angels, can you please help me clear that from my spiritual path? And they will. Um, okay. So then we just did uh, two more little things. Um, we did, again, a, a tricolor earth energy soak with divine gold sandstorm. So we'll just do that in one color real quick. Um, so just imagine your aura all around you and pick red or orange or yellow, whatever's gonna, whatever you feel like is gonna help you move forward and you'll be strong in your motivation. Red or orange or yellow, grounding and wide, and it goes down all the way to the center of the earth. So it goes up as high as your heart chakra or your fourth chakra. Oh, no, your third chakra. Hmm, I guess it could be okay if you wanna bring it up as high as your fourth chakra. <laughs> And go all the way down to the core of the earth and stay wide all the way down. I'm going to use a yellow grounding. And then bring up an extra amount of earth energy. That's the earth energy soak. So use that big wide grounding like a straw to bring up more earth energy, that color. So I'm going to use yellow earth energy and soak my whole energy field in it. And uh, Divine Gold Sandstorm, you know, you just make a copy out in front of you. And if you want to play a lot with this, um, the, the second, third, and fourth videos in that quick flow playlist would, you know, be a ton of experimentation and fun with that. But you make a copy out in front of you of your whole energy field. Right now it's soaking in the yellow earth energy. And then you just create little flecks of gold light, which is a sandstorm. You make a gold sandstorm, gold energy sandstorm divine gold sandstorm and just the the spinning gold light from your hands will just scrub out anything that's not you so it'll unblock your grounding and comb through your whole aura and now at this point I just did this with people to help people to recenter and to help people finish clearing the guilt so just help you know help yourself to release even more guilt you know, because maybe some of it's just a little triggered still. It didn't clear. So just wash it all the way down your grounding so that the center of the earth absorbs it. You know, just make sure your grounding is nice and unblocked all the way down. You know, this divine gold sandstorm, the spinning little flecks of gold light, it's so assertive. It's really good for kind of sandblasting open, you know, the blockages in your grounding. And again, just remind yourself as you take a deep breath, I can let go of guilt. All right, awesome. So in the healing, we did that, and then we did, you know, uh, you can do it real quick. Uh, so if you did yellow, yeah, nah, this is fine. But in the healing, we did red soak, then orange soak, then yellow soak, as I, as I was saying, the Divine Gold Sandstorm. We did it fairly quickly, though. Um, and at that point, I checked the path, um, and, you know, for people. So just imagine your path, a little copy out in front of you, and a little you on the path and see if you're moving forward. Are you moving forward on your path? And you know, at this moment, you know, cause you might be roadblocked, you might be moving forward. For me, my path is pretty sparkly with the illuminated heart strength, you know? So go ahead and check, you know, is your heart strength kind of illuminating the path forward? And again, you know, you can comb forward on the path with the gold light from your hand and kind of blast away anything that's in your way on the path. Because this is your road. Only you're supposed to be on this road. I mean, your angels are like on the sidelines going, yay, go, go, go. But nobody should be on this road. This is just for you. So anybody that's on the road is in your way <laughs> in this context. So just lots of gold light and just see, are you moving forward on it? 
So ideally, if you do these two videos enough, you know, the one before this and this one, you should have a, a heart strength that just kind of illuminates your path with gold light. Because you, you brought in your positive change, you brought it into your heart chakra of your physical body, and it just sort of makes it more real that, you know, you're motivated, you're, you're determined, and you're nobody's victim. Yeah! <laughs> All right, so it never means that, it doesn't mean you'll never feel stuck again, but it, it means that you know what to do about it. <laughs> you know how to get unstuck. Okay, great. So um, now to wrap up real quickly, we just did an angel healing and blessing to finish the healing. And so that's how we'll finish the video too. So just with your mind, just say angels, can I, and you're talking to your personal angels when you say that, when you say angels, uh, can I please have a blessing and a healing? And just keep breathing deeply while your angels give you a healing. If you want, you can imagine your illuminated spiritual path. Your, your way forward on your spiritual path is illuminated with your own heart strength. You're not gonna resist the dragons anymore. Don't resist the dragons. You're just gonna illuminate things with your heart strength. Just keep receiving your angels healing and blessing. All right. So it's possible that your angels will keep going with the healing a little bit longer, uh, which is fine. They know how much you need. Okay, well, congratulations. I think it's so awesome that you did this video and congratulations. If you have any questions or follow up uh, or comments, uh, feel free to post under the video and feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it because it helps other people to find the video as well. All right, bye.